Hello everyone! Welcome to our first video tutorial in Basic Calculus. I am Amlara and in this video, we will be discussing illustrating the limit of a function. The limit, to be denoted by uppercase letter L, is the unique real value that f of x will approach as x approaches c. In symbols, we write this process as the limit of f of x as x approaches c. So class, sa madaling salita, kapag hinahanap natin yung limit, um, ang ginagawa natin is tinitingnan natin sa ang value papalapit yung mako-compute natin na function values or yung mako-compute natin na f of x. Habang lumalapit naman yung ating x sa ating constant. Okay? So ayun yung ginagawa natin when we are finding the limit. So para mas maintindihan, um, let's have this example. So, let's consider the limit of 2 plus 4x as x approaches 4. Okay. So, class, the first thing that we have to do is to construct the table of values. But before that, ilocate muna natin yung constant natin, which is 4 sa number line. So, ito. Yan, nag-draw tayo ng number line. So, nandito yung ating 4. So, again, ang number line nag extend yan to both directions. Next, nagagawin natin, class, is we're going to um, choose x values from the left galing sa kaliwa ng constant natin na 4 na papalapit sa kanya. So, in this case, ito yung mga pinili natin na x values. So, simula kay 3, and then 3.5, 3.8, 3.9, 3.99, 3.999. So, as you can see, ayan yung x values sa kaliwa ng 4 na papalapit sa kanya. Okay? From the left. Ayan. So, next. So, meron na tayong x values. Kompletuhin natin ngayon yung ating table of values. Okay? So, let's uh, um, compute for the corresponding function values. So, dun sa una muna. Kapag ang x ay 3, simply, Isa substitute lang natin yung x dun sa ating function, right? So, i-rate muna natin yung function natin, which is f of x is equal to 2 plus 4x. And then, we'll substitute the value of x, which is 3. So, we'll have here f of 3 is equal to 2 plus 4 times 3. And simplifying this, it'll give us 2 plus 12 kasi 4 times 3 ay 12. Hence, f of 3 natin is 14. So, dito, ang f of 3 natin is 14. Okay? Next, uh, let's now compute for f of 3.5 naman. Okay? So, ganun lang din yung gagawin. So, substitute lang sa lahat ng values ng x dun sa ating function. So, we will have 2 plus 4 times 3.5. And 4 times 3.5 is equal to what? Yes, 14. And 14 plus 2 is equal to... 16. So, ang katapat ng, uh, ng 3.5 dito, ang f of 3.5 natin is 16. Okay? So, for the remaining um, function values class, sige, you may pause this video, mag-solve sa scratch paper, and then later, check nyo kung pareho tayo na nakuha na answers. Okay? So, upon computing uh, the function values of these x values, ito yung lalabas. Okay. Ngayon, Meron na tayong table of values class. Again, ang kinonsider natin na x values ay nasa kaliwa ng ating constant na 4 papalapit sa kanya. Okay? Papalapit sa kanya from the left. So, klaseng na nyo. Yung ating x values habang lumalapit siya kay 4, saan namang value lumalapit yung ating na-compute na f of x? Okay, good. So, ito naman ay lumalapit sa 18. So, hence, the limit of 2 plus 4x as x approaches 4 from the left. So, class, i-denote natin yun. I-represent natin yun with this. Okay? Kapag uh, from the left, yung consider natin na x values, lalagyan natin ng exponent na negative sign yung constant. Okay? So, ibig sabihin from the left yung consider natin. So, the limit of 2 plus 4x as x approaches 4 from the left is actually 18. Okay? Habang lumalapit ang x values natin sa 4 from the left, yung function values naman natin ay papalapit sa 18. Okay? Nakuha? Okay, good. Ngayon, class, um, remember, tung constant natin na si, um, hindi yan kailangan na nasa domain 
ng ating function. Kasi nga, we're only after the x values na nagpapunta dyan sa constant natin. Okay? Sige, so let's proceed. So, um, gawin na natin yung kabila naman. Okay? So, let's consider naman the x values from the right of our constant. Yan. So, again, kukuha tayo ng x values sa kanan ng constant natin na papalapit sa kanya. Okay? So, lagay natin yung table of values natin here. So, ito yung mga kinonsider natin. So, we have here 5, 4.8, 4.5, 4.1, 4.001, 4.0000001. Okay? Ngayon, uh, just like what we did earlier, i-compute lang natin yung corresponding function values ng bawat isa. So, let's start muna dito sa f of 5. So, kinopy ko lang ulit yung function. So, f of 5, pinaltan lang lahat ng excess ng 5. So, it will give us f of 5 is equal to 2 plus 4 times 5, 4 times 5 is 20. 20 plus 2 is 22. So, ang f of 5 natin here is 22. Next, f of 4.8 naman tayo. So, f of 4.8 is equal to 2 plus 4 times 4.8. Itong 4 times 4.8 is equal to 19.2. Plus 2, the answer here is 21.2. So, katapat nito is 21.2. So, ganun ulit class, try nyo isolve yung mga sumusunod pa na x values. Uh, pakikuha yung function values nila. Okay, so upon doing so, ito yung compute natin. Okay? So, just like what we did earlier class, sige, i-observe natin yung laman ng table of values natin. Yung uh, habang lumalapit yung x values natin sa 4, again, yung 4 yung constant natin, habang papalapit siya sa 4, Saan namang value papalapit yung na-compute natin na function values o yung f of x? Okay, good. Sa 18 din, di ba? Kung mapapansin nyo, papalapit ito sa 18. Hence, the limit of 2 plus 4x as x approaches 4 from the right, di ba? Yung mga nasa kanan ng constant natin, papalapit sa kanya yung consider natin na x values. Kaya meron tayong exponent na plus sign or positive sign dun sa ating constant na 4. So, the limit of 2 plus 4x as x approaches 4 from the right is also equal to 18. Okay? Next. Ngayon, class, yung dalawang results natin kanina, ayun yung tinatawag natin na one-sided limits. So, in this example, the one-sided limits are the following. The limit of 2 plus 4x as x approaches 4 from the left is equal to 18. Okay, so ito yung isang side from the left. And then the other one-sided limit, the limit of 2 plus 4x as x approaches 4 from the right is also equal to 18. So ano yung may infer natin dito? Ano yung conclude natin? So since pareho sila ng value, ibig sabihin, the limit of 2 plus 4x as x approaches 4 from the left is equal to the limit of 2 plus 4x as x approaches 4 from the right. So, equal yung one-sided limits natin. And kapag ang nakuha nating one-sided limits ay equal class, it only means that the limit of 2 plus 4x as x approaches 4 is indeed equal to 18. Okay? So, class, kailangan mag-equal yung one-sided limits natin para malaman na yung limit ng function na yun as x approaches that uh, specific constant is equal to uh, kung saan equal yung one-sided limits natin. So, in this case, the limit of 2 plus 4x as x approaches 4 is equal to 18. Okay? Clear tayo? Okay, good. So, I think pwede na tayong mag-proceed with the next example. Ah, ito muna. Graph muna tayo. Okay. So, observe muna natin, class, yung uh, graph ng function bago tayo mag-proceed sa next example. Okay. So, tingnan natin to. Um, kanina, di ba, kinonsider natin yung x values na papalapit sa 4. So, ito yon, Papalapit sa 4 from the left. So, ano ma-o-observe natin? Di ba, habang lumalapit yung x values sa 4, ano nangyayari sa y? Saan papunta yung y? Yes, di ba, sa 18. Di ba? Uh, moreover, uh, pag na naman natin yung x values from the right of 4, so, dito tayo nag-start kanina. 
papalapit kay 4 galing sa kanan. So, yung y values natin, papalapit din dito sa 18. Okay? So, yan. So, ito yung one-sided limits natin, as mentioned earlier. Hence, the limit of 2 plus 4x as x approaches 4 is equal to 18. So, pinakita lang natin, class, using the table of values and the sketch of the graph, yung limit ng ating function. Okay? Clear tayo? Okay. So, let's proceed to the second example. Okay, so, uh, evaluate the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 if f of x is equal to x minus 3 if x is less than 1 and x squared plus 5 if x is greater than or equal to 1. So, what we have here is a piecewise function. So, it's important that we consider the conditions provided in dealing with piecewise functions. So, let's say, Kapag ang x values natin ay less than 1 or mas mababa sa 1, ano ang gagamitin natin na sub-function? This one. Itong f of x is equal to x minus 3. On the other hand, kapag naman yung x natin ay mas mataas or equal sa 1, ang gagamitin natin na sub-function is this. x squared, f of x is equal to x squared plus 5. So just like what we did on example number 1, we're going to construct the number line first and then i-locate natin yung constant natin. So, in this case, 1. Ayan, so, nandito yung 1 natin and then we'll be getting x values from the left of 1 na papalapit dito. Okay? So, ilalagay natin sa table. So, ang mga kinuha natin na x values dito is yung uh, r, yung 0, 0 0.5, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 0.99, and 0 0.999. So, as you can see, these x values approaches 1 from the left. Actually, class, we can use any x values naman eh. Ang, uh, we're only after the behavior of the values. Ano, habang lumalapit yung x values sa 1, saan naman papalapit yung compute natin na function values afterwards. So, yun yung titingnan natin later. Okay? So, ganun ulit. Uh, we'll be solving its uh, the corresponding function values of these x values. So una, but first, it decide mo na natin. Ano kayang sub function ang gagamitin natin? Is it the first one or the second one? Yes, we'll be using the first one. Kasi kung mapapansin natin dito yung mga x values natin ay lahat less than one. So etong gagamitin natin. Ito yung nagsasatisfy dun sa ating condition. Ano? So, kakopihin lang ulit natin. f of x is equal to x minus 3. So, substitute lang natin yung x dun sa ating function. So, we will have here f of 0 is equal to 0 minus 3, which is equal to negative 3. Ganon din yung gagawin dun sa second one. So, meron tayong f of 0 0.5 is equal to 0 0.5 minus 3. Ito ay equal sa negative 2.5. So, ganun na let class. You may pause this video and then solve nyo muna ito. Ano yung corresponding function values na itong mga sumusunod. And then afterwards, you can check kung pareho tayo na nakuha na sagot. Okay? So, upon computing, ito yung makukuha natin na function values. Ayan. So, i-observe na natin ngayon, class, yung behavior ng ating uh, function value. Saan value papunta ito? So, habang lumalapit yung x natin sa 1, saan naman value papalapit yung na-compute natin na function values? Yes, sa negative 2. Ano? Hence, the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 from the left. So, take note, yung exponent na negative sign doon. Ibig sabihin, from the left, yung consider natin is equal to negative 2. Okay? Clear? Okay, so let's proceed to the next one. So, kunin naman natin, class, kuha naman tayo ng x values from the right of our constant 1. So, ilagay natin sa table of values, ang mga nakuha natin ay ang mga sumusunod. So, we have here 2, 1.8, 1.5, 1.1, 1.001, 1.000001. So, kung mapapansin nyo, nasa kaliwa, nasa kanan, rather, nasa kanan iyan ng 1 at papalapit sa kanya. Okay? Sige. So, um, kung mapapansin natin yung x values natin, lahat ito ay greater than 1. 
Hence, we will be using this sub function f of x is equal to x squared plus 5. So, kinopya na natin dito. So, ganun ulit. Substitute lang natin yung x. So, we will have, ay, yung x value natin. So, doon sa una, 2. So, we'll be computing for f of 2 is equal to 2 squared plus 5, which is equal to 4 plus 5, equal ito sa 9. Ganun din sa f of 1 of 0.8. So, f of 1.8 is equal to 1.8 squared plus 5. Equal yan sa 1.8 times 1.8 is equal to uh, 3.24 plus 5. So, it will give us 8.24. So, sige, pakitry isolve yung iba pa. And, ito yung makukuha natin. Okay, so, tingnan na natin ngayon yung na-construct natin na table of values. Habang lumalapit yung x values natin sa 1... From the right, saan namang values, uh, saan namang value papalapit, yun na compute natin na function values. Okay, correct. So, papalapit ito sa 6, diba? Tama? Hence, the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 from the right is equal to 6. Pag titignan natin yung sketch ng graph ng function natin, ganito yung itsura niya, class. So, tingnan natin. Kanina yung consider natin from the left, nung ito yung ating constant na 1, okay? So, habang papalapit yung x natin sa 1, yung y naman natin ay papalapit dito sa negative 2, okay? Uh, from the right naman, yung consider natin kanina, habang lumalapit uh, yung ating x value sa 1, yung y naman natin is papalapit kay 6, okay? Ayan, so ito yung na-compute natin kanina. The limit of f of x as x approaches 1 from the left is equal to negative 2. The limit of f of x as x approaches 1 from the right is equal to 6. So, obviously, hindi equal yung one-sided limits natin. So, the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 from the left is not equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 from the right. Hence, kapag hindi nag-equal class yung one-sided limits natin, we can say that the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 does not exist. So, pwede natin isulat tong does not exist as DNA. So, the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 does not exist. Okay? Clear? Is everything clear? Okay, good. So, sana ay nakasunod tayo sa ating uh, discussion today. So, here's the list of references that we used in uh, crafting this video tutorial. Sana class ay nakasunod tayong lahat sa discussion. So, thank you all for watching and bye!